to the Adobe XD file. For our widgets, we have these sidebar widgets that we created here. So we have the div class sidebar widget and we want to make them look a little bit like this. So they have a really big thick border on them. The color is not this dark gray. It's a lighter gray than that. I'll let you experiment a little bit or if you link to the Adobe XD file, you should be able to get the exact color that that is, as well as the exact thickness. I'm just gonna estimate it and hope for the best. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about with our current layout though, is this space is already pretty narrow here and it's gonna get a little bit tighter once we add that empty, once we add the border and that spacing inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to right now uh, change the size of those before we get into those widgets, because I am scared we're going to run out of room for them. I just think it's gonna be a little bit too tight. So here, I'm gonna change this width down to a 70 and this one up to a 25. I don't know, we'll might have to readjust again after, but I think it's gonna help us out just by giving us a little bit of extra space there. And now what I want you to do, let's go all the way back down and I'm gonna create a little comment here saying widgets. And I want you to come down and style them as much as you can. It's using a bunch of stuff we've already looked at. So go ahead and try your best, at least adding the border as well as that space on the inside. And if you feel up to it, also doing the typography. Once again, I didn't give it to you here, but we know what the fonts are. You can adjust and play with the font size. If you do look at the Adobe XD link, you will be able to get the actual font size that was used, but it will be in pixels from there. So make sure you convert it over to REM. If you're not sure how to do that, you can watch when I do it because in just a few seconds after I give it to you, I'll be doing it myself as usual though try and do as much as you can and see if you can pull it off before i take over so i hope you had a lot of success now let's dive in and it's not just widgets it's my sidebar widget and the first thing i'm gonna do is give it the border so i'm gonna give this 20 pixels solid and for the color i'm just guessing right now but i know it's a really light gray and i know ef 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 is a light gray because i've been doing this for a long time uh, so we can see that it's looking pretty good actually i'm happy with that now they're also stuck together. So I'm gonna add a margin bottom on this to help out a little bit. So margin bottom, I'm gonna try 1M and see what it looks like. And it's not bad, it's probably a little bit too tight. So let's boost that up to a two. But before we go and look at it again, you might be going, well, Kevin, why are you using pixels here, but M here? Borders are one of the few places where I have a habit of using pixels because a lot of the time we have a one pixel border, maybe a two pixel border. It's really rare that you're gonna have a really big size on a border like this. Now, it, as you can see here, it has happened, but it's not too much. So I just fall in the habit of using pixels because one pixel in M is just, you know, I'm not doing that. If you'd rather set this because it's a bigger border in M or M in M, and that's what you did before, then by all means, go for it. It would work beautifully as well. And before we go and check it out though, I am also gonna add some padding and we'll try one M of padding on that. And that doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty happy with how that looks, but let's just see when we get to the smaller screens, if we run into any problems, this font size is gonna get smaller. These are getting really, really narrow. But overall, nothing's broken. The image, the titles are a little bit too big. The images are really, really small. We're sort of running into two options now when we're making something responsive like this because it seemed to be working super well. I think at the large screen size, it's exactly what I want it to look like. So I don't want to modify it too much. We sort of have two options. One of them is to change our breakpoint. And if we do that, we're going to be going through and potentially changing it in multiple places. I don't really feel like doing that because I don't want to have to reconfigure a whole bunch of things. So another option we have is to come on this and actually make sure it can't get too small because right now what's happening is it's clearly just getting too small. Whereas these are working fine. They're not ideal, but they're, they're working okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So if we come on to my widget, let's go and find not my widget, but my sidebar. So here we, we had our main and our, our aside. I think I'm gonna give this a minimum width. So I want it ideally to be that 25%, but I also don't want it to get smaller than 250 pixels. So, well, that's even too big, I think. Now there's one disadvantage that when we do this, and that's that that justify, our justify content space between stops having enough of an effect on it. Cause at one point when we lock in that size, at one point they can actually hit each other because now that's locked in at that minimum size of 200 pixels, which I think is roughly the right size. Cause here it doesn't look super ridiculously small. It's borderline. Maybe I could actually change this breakpoint to be a little bit bigger, but while we're here, why don't we just come on the aside here and add a margin left of one M to the whole thing which is not a lot of space, but we don't want too much when we're at this really small screen size anyway. So at the big sizes, I think it's going to look pretty good. 
And then we get smaller. It's just going to prevent the two columns from colliding into each other by having that one M of space on the side there. So now we get smaller. Again, maybe this is a good point when we could be modifying the breakpoint on it if we really wanted to, but I'm not in, I'm not hating necessarily. And there we go. And this comes into a really good discussion about when you want to have your breakpoints. And it's really about adjusting to the layout and when things are working or not working. So if you really don't like this, you could come in and adjust your breakpoint at this point. I'm going to say it again. I've said, I've said this before. I'm going to keep saying it again. Breakpoints are not device specific. They are layout specific. When your layout is breaking, when your layout is not looking good, that's when you go ahead and create a new breakpoint or adjust a breakpoint that you already have. It's about your layout. It's not about what device it's looking at. The hundreds, maybe thousands of different phones now, they all have a little bit of a different size. There's so many tablets, there's laptops and these little laptops and there's big laptops. You don't know the device size some is on. So don't worry about finding specific numbers to use and adjust it where your layout is working and just make it work at the different screen sizes however you can. I'm pretty happy with this. If somebody's happens to be here, there might not be a million people with this device width on it, but overall I think I'm happy with that and how the whole thing is working. We could also allow this to get a little bit wider. I just wanted to make sure that we're limiting the max width of it for some people who are doing this tutorial on a smaller screen, they can see it reaching that maximum width. I'm going to end this lesson here because I think we covered um, a easy, some easy things with our setting that up. The last thing we're going to do in the next one is finishing up everything in the site. So we're going to fix our titles. We're going to fix the order on this. And the one forgotten element is our footer all the way at the bottom. I think we can knock that out all out of the park really, really quickly. So let's wrap this.